I like this. The, the serve stroke and volley, I'm, I'm glad you all have come and introduced me to this program. Of course, in a, you know, quote unquote USTA or, or standard tournament, you don't know what you're getting. The score could be 6-0, 6-0. And wh whichever end of that you're on, it, it's not helpful. I've played matches where I've won 6-0-6-0 and lost 6-0-6-0. None of them are that fun, so I think to have a great match every time would be a lot of fun. If you're getting a similar score, there's, that's, that's a good indicator that you're going to be paired well and matched mm -hmm. evenly with somebody else who's hitting you know, in a similar fashion. With the serve stroke and volley getting a, a more accurate um, objective score and playing against you know fellow competitors with that with that level that score you're, you're going to get close matches so you know having having you know a seven five six four match is a lot more valuable much better learning experience than than, than maybe a blowout so you, you could have a player that's a 10 year old boy playing against a, a girl that's 14 um, which probably wouldn't happen otherwise, you know, if it weren't for this rating system. If they're at the same level, I want them on the court together. I, I don't think it's a problem for a, a girl to play a boy or a 15-year-old to play an 11-year-old because th their, their ability is the same. So if you have a format where it's round robin, you guarantee that you're going to get to play a certain amount of matches with players that are definitely in your level of play, that's the best case scenario. And the fact that you can play you know, three matches in a, an easy afternoon, a half day, instead of committing a, you know, two or three full long days to a tournament, sitting around and waiting. It's, it's a great way for kids to, uh, to improve because they're gonna get three quality matches instead of possibly one not so quality match. You're guaranteed a certain amount of matches, regardless of, of winning your first match or not, as opposed to tournaments uh, for the USTA as they are now, where you could drive for two and a half hours lose your first match, it could happen even quickly, and then that's it. And it's uh, you know, a long trip back home, um, which can be very frustrating for both players and parents who are trying to get the most out of that experience when they, when they sign up for these tournaments. What they're looking forward to is getting a lot of great play in. So to have to drive to San Diego or Bakersfield is a pain in the neck, um, obviously compared to you know, going to my local club. Whether I'm hosting here or going 15 minutes to Braemar, uh, yeah, I, I can't imagine a parent wouldn't want to do that. So it, it just makes a lot more sense. And so I, I think it would do a, a lot to make everybody, and the, you know, across the broad spectrum, uh, feel more excited to go out and play and, and meet more players and, and travel to new places to do it. Take a test. It's very simple. Ten minutes with some forehands and backhands and serves. You get a number. With that number, um, we want to get you guys playing some tournaments where the other kids in the tournament are right at that number, as opposed to you having to play someone maybe really strong or even too weak where you don't you don't get much out of the tournament. 107.375. Did you have fun with the test? Yeah, it was actually really easier than I thought. Yeah. Would yeah. you like to Would you like to do it again sometime? I would. Do you think you'd do better the second time around? That now that you know it? Yep. I think I would because then I'll know what I'll be doing, and then I would know what to do and where to hit it so that I could get a little higher. It shows you what you have to work on. It's a great barometer for where a player is currently and, and where improvements can be made and something that you can sort of rely upon as a measure looking back to see how, how well the player is or isn't progressing because you can say, okay, this time you had this many errors, uh, this score in regard to your control, this score in regard to your power, and then looking back after, after logging the scores you know, and collecting them, then you can say definitively, okay, you, played, you're, you, know, you took the test better, this reflects that your shots have improved, your accuracy has improved, your power has improved, because it's, you know, it's a constant, you know, the variable is where the player is at that time. I like the way you guys have figured it all out, so you get test control and power and mobility. I think it's a great way to rate people.